Hey guys, it's Gary. Welcome back to Thrifty and OKC. If you are just joining me for the first time, I am a thrift store loving part-time reseller who loves to hit the thrifts to find things to resell on Poshmark, eBay, and Etsy, um, but also like to find stuff for me personally and for my family. So today I am going to share with you this bow bag. <laughs> you are probably thinking, what in the heck? Who cares about you and your stupid bow bag, lady? But what, um, a lot of times I show these bags because I want people to know you don't have to have a ton of money to invest in reselling. I mean, there's the Goodwill outlet, which is by the pound, but there's also things like this. And I feel like the bags are where you can get a big bang for your buck. So I picked this one up for $5.99 um, at the thrift store. And I am gonna open it up and let's just see what's inside. I saw a few things in there. I do well, funnily enough, with vintage hair accessories um, on Etsy and on Poshmark both. I don't tend to sell those on eBay. And so, I mean, if I can get a whole bag of them for $5.99, a lot of times I will lock them up. Um, but these look like a lot of 80s and 90s big hair bows, which is something that I tend to do really well with. So I'm gonna show you what I got in here and you can just kind of see to get an idea. Maybe if you happen to see a bow bag, which might be something you might not have thought to pick up at your local thrift, you might opt to go ahead and go for it. So the first one pulling out is just this black scrunchie ruffledy. Um, but the scrunchies are really back in right now. So, and it looks like there's gonna be a wide variety. This one is probably handmade. It looks like it's kind of bit the dust, so that'll probably go into my trash pile. This is just a plain pink scrunchie. That would also probably go, this one I would keep and list up. Um, and there's gonna be stuff in here. This has got dog paw prints on it. Again, trash pile, little denim scrunchie. I might keep that one for myself, wash it. Um, but there's gonna be stuff anytime in a belt bag that you're not gonna keep, or belt bag, in a, any kind of bag. I do a lot of belt bags, that's why I said that, um, that you're not gonna keep, and that's okay. I mean, you're just looking for enough to, to make some profit on. So this is kind of a weird one. Now I've unclipped it. I can't clip it back because it's got this weird fabric. So this is like a metallic, like perforated type green. I mean, that could be fun for St. Patrick's Day for vintage. That one will be a keeper. Get another scrunchie. I think there's a lot of scrunchies in here, so bear with me. So I like these. Somebody looks like they might have made these. These are great. I'm not going to put this in my hair because... It's not clean, but this basically can go around like a headband. I don't love this one because it's a cow print, but I like these because then I can kind of do this in a bow or however I want to do it. If I wanted to wear it, I could. I won't keep that. And these are probably handmade too. Ooh, I'm losing stuff out here. Um, this is another one of those with little apples on it. Not my jam, so I won't keep that one. Now, this one's pretty cool here. Um, I've sold quite a lot of these in lots. This one even has like cotton down in there to kind of make it poof up. Um, but I've sold a lot of these type of clip bows in lots, like for 80, 90s hair bow type things. This kind of has a cottage core vibe to it. And I can sell them usually for between $25 or $30, which isn't bad. Another scrunchie, um, another little baby hair bow. I probably won't keep that just because I don't, it's not anything spectacular. So this one is this like 80s plaid. I mean, if you were around in the 80s, I was who didn't have a Christmas dress made out of this? So, um, a lot of these are probably handmade, but that's okay. They, and they need a little reshaping, a little work on reshaping, but big flower, won't keep that. And I try to be kind of picky. Now this one's cute. I like that little polka dot. I mean, that would be cute on the side. So that one I would keep a purple one. Cow. And I'm just going to go through these really fast. These, these ribbony ones seem to do pretty well for me. Now, this is a huge red one. That one, that one's fun. Another pink one, a lacy one. I would totally keep that one and put it up. The more 80s, 90s it looks, um, and not like, I feel like these are more like a kid's hair bow. And like, I have two of these. You could do them as a, actually a pony, a pigtail holder would be kind of cute. The more 80s, 90s it looks, the more apt I am to hold on to it. This little red and white striped I would keep. This is a little scrunchie. That's actually kind of fun. I would probably put that up. A little shoelace one. But you think even if I put each one of these up for 10 bucks, a lot of work. This one's kind of rough, so I wouldn't keep that one. Um, I can easily make my money back on these. So 
on this bow bag. This one's cute. Now, Scotty dogs do really well for me. So, that I bet you I sell pretty quickly. That's a cute little Scotty, Scottish Terrier. This is a little worse for wear, likely handmade. This is a little pearly one. That one I would probably list up. Scrunchy, purpley bow, put in a lot. Oh my, this one's scratched on the stone, but that's real kind of funky looking. So I did, uh, one of the reasons I picked this one in particular is I did see a lot of like clips and barrettes. So this is a dolphin that were not just bows. And I, I do really well with some of the vintage clips. I would probably put this one with the green one, maybe in a set. Uh, that one's got some wear and tear, so that's a no-go. I don't love that, but somebody might. It's a little ponytail one. Kind of got a Native American vibe to it. This has popped off of its thing. I saw that in there, so I just will probably glue that back on. And then that's a pretty little tooled leather. This, just a clip. I won't keep that one. Look how cute is this one. It's a little Disney one. A little Disney vintage clip. And then here's a pearl. And then... A little metal one. On occasion, I found some really nice, not like expensive 80s ones, a big satin one. That'll go, that'll lot up. This blue and white one could go with the little red and white one. This one does have a little stain on the back. Guys, there's a lot in here, so I'm just trying to bust through here really fast. White, that looks like a kid. So the kids ones I will not keep. Oh, this one's real 80s, 90s. Look at that one. So that's a definite list up. That one actually I might could wear. I cleaned it out with some alcohol. Another little ribbon one. Um, another little ribbon one. Probably wouldn't keep that one. I don't think that's anything like crazy special. Any metallics, I'd have to reshape this one. And it does have some fraying. I might have to cut, but I'll, I'll consider that one. I like any metallic ones. Again, these ones that look like kids' bows, I probably could lot those up, but I probably won't mess with that. This is just a big green one. Kind of a different scrunchie. Um, this was a nice uh, one of these kinds of clips. I don't even know what you call those. Another dolphin. This is real 80s here. Look at that. A little um, apple. More cows. There's a lot of cows. Prints in here. Um, not really my jam. That's kind of a fun and weird one. It looks like it might be have gotten loose there. I'm not for sure. This one's pretty ugly, so that might sell. I, I found that things that are ugly sell. I like the fish. You guys know I like wooden fish if you watch me a lot. Another blue one, another red one. I'm trying to go fast here, another red one. Another one of these ones, so I could lot all of these ones up if I wanted to with the several colors. Another one of these ones. Um, this one, don't love that one. That go away, don't love that one. Mmm, that's real. 90s. Um, I, I saw this, this little Tweety Bird. I thought this was cute. Um, you know, a couple of ones like this could make or break it. Now, this is handmade, but I mean, somebody got after it. Look at this little thing. How funny is that? It's got like a ponytail there and like a little teacher deal. I don't think I could clean that up, but it's kind of gross on the inside, but oh, that's really kind of a cute idea. Whoever did that, kudos to them. Um, another one of these little beady ones. Uh, that's a no-go for the keep there. Uh, eh. Again, another one of the big ones. I love the big ones. Those are great to lot up. Headband, no. Pink, no. Scrunchy, no. That one even had a hole in it. No scrunchy, no scrunchy. Scrunchy, scrunchy, scrunchy. I mean, it had to be a real amazing scrunchy to keep it. Um, oh, this one's kind of cute here. Another one of the beaded ones, and then one that's kind of hung up here. Let me, there's that one there. That damn it, no. That's how it's made, so that one's kind of cute. Another one of those. So I could do maybe a lot of the beaded ones. Another little handmade, lace, scrunchy, nothing. One of the things about hair ones too is sometimes kind of like the beauty bags, you're gonna get stuff that it's kind of gross. <laughs> so if you get grossed out easy, be these bags and the beauty bags may not be for you. This one, it's definite 90s vibes there. That's a keep, no. Lop that one up. 
This one's kind of funky. I like the scarf material on them. I guess I could throw this. More scrunchies. Um, more ribbon, ribbon. More cow. Somebody loved this cow print, I'm telling you. Scrunchie, that one does have a cute little daisy trim on it, but I won't keep any of the scrunchies. I'm not messing with um, washing those or anything. So this one coming up, 4th of July, a little American flag. Um, this has got a little bit of metallic to it. Another little pearl. Um, a gold tone, a pot pink. This one looks like it's got a little bit of damage to it. So that one will go in my no pile. Getting a big pile over here. Um, and I'll go through and pick out the best of the best because I'm not gonna like list every single one of these. It's one of those little Guatemalan people. I've sold those before. Cows, I wonder if somebody went to like a cow school or something where the cow was maybe not the mascot, I don't know. That's actually a cute scrunchie. I might wash that one and keep it for me. Headband, no. Scrunchie, no. Scrunchie, no. Mm, no. Um, another shoelacy one I could put with the metallic shoelaces. Uh, green. Polka dot. Those are all lot ones I can lot up. Oh, another. These little, some of these little handmade ones, they got creative. Look, that's got a crayon and a measuring tape. How fun is that? Uh kind of putting these back in here over to the side. That's just a pretty traditional clip, but that's pretty. I might clean that one up and keep it for myself. Another purpley one. More handmade of these with the little conchos. Oh goodness. I mean, this takes me back. Look at this. I could put that with the ugly sweater. Personally, I could wear that for ugly Christmas sweater party. Black. Oh, I got something else big down here. More scrunchies scrunchies this is a little like suede it looks like but it looks a little worse for wear so that would go in the no section scrunchy this one's kind of funky look at that one i like that one. Oh, oh! i just dropped that on the floor that might now be in many different pieces oh this was a um bright it looks like this little piece fell off i could glue that back on if i needed to when i'm gluing on the butterfly one this is a really heavy put my glasses Took my glasses off and put them somewhere. This one could have a mark. I don't see anything right off, but I'm a blind as a bat without my glasses. So that's a pretty heavy piece. Here's another, it's a little fall one with whoever made these little funky acrylic ones. Scrunchy, another little bow. Now this one, I mean, this is big. This is what I'm looking for. Are these big ones um, that like take over your head? Nothing says 90s like that. Some more handmaids. Another scarf one for lot up. A couple more just black plain ones. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, and then a purple, a purple sequins one, which no, I will not keep. So that's a really fast overview of this bow bag because there are a ton of bows in here. But again, $5.99, I think I could easily make, even after fees, 100 bucks on the bag. So that's really not a bad return on investment on that. It's gonna take me a little bit of work, yes, but I easily have, um, you know, 10 of these that are pretty cute that I could probably put up for between 10 and $15. So, and if I lot up, it doesn't take me nearly as much work as it would if I sold every single thing individually. But there's enough um, individual ones in here to make it worth my while to purchase. So anyway, that kind of gives you an idea of what you might get out of a hair accessory bag if you see them. I see them at a lot of my thrifts. You may not where you are, or maybe you've never noticed because you've never been looking for them. But um, most of mine will lot up the hair accessories because they're not gonna put out just one bow for like a dollar. So keep your eye out for something like this if it's something that you might be interested in selling. Um, or you're looking to get into vintage, this is an easy, very low cost way to start doing some vintage items. Maybe start like a vintage hair accessory shop or just vintage accessories in general. Anyway, if you like what you saw, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Again, I am out of Oklahoma City. I do like to share haul videos and reseller tips and occasionally throw in a what sold video, but mostly I just like to let people know that you don't have to live in a big city and have access to a lot of big name brands in order to have success at the thrift, either shopping for yourself or looking for things to resell. So I appreciate y'all watching and I will see you next time. Thanks so much and have a great one. Bye-bye.